So today we're going to be talking about how to use a certain bad word. Now the reason I'm going to teach you about this word is because you you know it anyway, and I think it's important to know the meaning of words even if you don't choose to use them. Now I don't use bad words. I don't curse, we could say, or swear very much. But I know the meaning, and I think it's important for you to know the meaning because you will hear people saying these things. So we should talk about it. I am not suggesting that you start using the word that we're going to talk about today. I'm not suggesting it. I'm just trying to show you the meaning to help you understand what it means in different situations. Okay. So today we're going to be talking about the word fuck. Now, fuck is a bad word in pretty much every situation, and some people would say it is the worst word in English. But there are a couple of situations where it's not that rude,、uh, and we'll look at those as well.、It、depends on the situation.、Uh, it depends on the people you're talking with, and again, what kind of personality you have. Okay, so just to be clear, I'm not suggesting you start using this word. Okay. We often add fucking to replace kind of the word very. It's almost like very. If, if something's if something is very something, many people will say fucking something. For example, that's fucking weird. Weird means. Strange! Wow, that's really fucking weird. To add power to how weird it is, that's very weird. Some people will say that's fucking weird, or sometimes it's a good thing. This pizza is fucking delicious. This pizza, is, it, this pizza is fucking delicious. Means it's very delicious, and it adds some power to the the pizza and how delicious it is. Or、uh, what a fucking waste of time! What a fucking waste of time! That this means it's a very very much a Waste of time. Okay, now I want to move pretty quickly, and so if you miss something or you didn't quite get how to use it, go back, look at the examples. Let's just continue on. So using、uh, using just the word fuck, fuck that, for example, or just fuck. So if someone Suggests to you an idea which you don't like. Let's do this thing, and you really don't like the idea of that. You can say no. Fuck that. Fuck that means I don't want to do that. I don't want to think about it. Fuck that. Fuck that. For example,、uh, let's go climb a mountain today. No, fuck that. I want to relax. It's my day off. I usually have to work overtime. Today is my day off. You want to go mountain climbing? Go ahead. I say fuck that. That means no, I don't want to. If you're doing something now, you're doing it right now, and it's very hard, impossible, extremely difficult. You want to give up. You just say ah, fuck this. Fuck this means I give up. I'm going to stop doing this. I can't do it anymore. So fuck that means I don't want to do that. Fuck this means I will stop doing this now. I give up. Okay. Next one. Give a fuck. Give a fuck. Usually, give a fuck is used only in the negative. That means we usually add don't or doesn't in front of give a fuck. Give a fuck basically. I don't know. I don't know why. Please don't ask me why. I don't know why any of these are used. Basically, it means care about. If you give a fuck about something, you care about something. If you don't give a fuck about something, and that's the most common. Then you don't care about it. So, for example, who gives a fuck about what color tie you wear? Right, a tie. What color should I wear? Blue, green, red, pink. Who gives a fuck what color tie you wear? That means I don't care what color you choose. It doesn't matter. It's not important. If if you don't care about another person's opinion, you can say I don't give a fuck what you think. Some people will say that. Now that's quite rude. Someone says, "Well, I think you should da da da," and you say, "Well, I don't, I don't give a fuck what you think." Now you often will hear that in movies, but it's really rude to say, "I don't give a fuck what you say." I don't give a fuck what she says. 
That means I don't care about their opinion. Okay, so it just basically means I don't care. Now, we can also often use who, what, why before fuck. And we usually say what the fuck, who the fuck, why the fuck, where the fuck. These are common phrases that we use. And fuck in this case just means that thing, but it almost has no meaning. So, where the fuck have you been? It's like saying, where have you been? Who the fuck is that? Who is that? Why the fuck did you do that? Why did you do that? It just adds a little bit more power or a little bit more strength or it's rudeness sometimes to what you say. Basically, it means the same thing as what we were saying before. Who is that? Who the fuck is that? The feeling is different, but the basic meaning is not really different. Now, sometimes we see something weird and we don't add anything. If we see something that surprises us, we might say, what the fuck? People will just say that as a sort of interjection. What the fuck means I'm surprised, I can't believe what I'm seeing. Now we might continue, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you thinking? But it can be used just by itself, what the fuck? Like that, to mean a sort of surprise. And now we can also say then, holy fuck, if if something is really surprising, or you can't believe that it's happening, or it disturbs you, it's disgusting, it's weird, something out of the ordinary, something abnormal, we can say, holy fuck, what the fuck? It's basically the same thing, almost the same thing. Uh, a slightly different feeling though.